Well, it's time. We finally made it to the start of the NFL season. It's been a long, long ass off season. Uh, not just the draft, all the drama in the free agency, all the court cases that we have to deal with involving Deshaun Watson and the Miami Dolphins. And it's just it's just been nuts. We just want to watch football. For the love of God, we need to watch football. Greetings, everybody. I'm the Voice of Reason. Here with the Haymakers, of course, is Kanako the Squirrel. Th that's oh, you. Oh, God, she fell off the face of the earth. No! Uh, I, I, we should have I, warned her about living in Australia. I did, but I, I said hello. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> yeah, you, you did not say God damn, sex and sensitive mic. Yep. By the way, if you haven't noticed since the last video, I've changed my microphone because my last headset snapped in two. Oof. Lovely. Literally. Yeah, th th I, I've had it. I had it for like five years. So. <laughs> also, Nikki V. Yep. Hello. Hi. And also, Nikki V's here. Hey. It's like nine in the morning, and I am not a morning person. I can assure you. I had the day off, so that's how. That's why we're doing it now. Yeah, I do as well, but normally I'm sleeping during this time because, like, I work overnights. <laughs> I it, it, it's midnight for me. I don't <laughs> know why you guys are complaining. <laughs> well, your well, your sleep schedule's fucked. I mean, yes. I need a good. But anyway. We got we we are just so happy we're talking about football again. Like, yes. And as as always, uh, at, at anything goes in the in week one. Last year, I think like I had like only five rights. Last week or last season, week one, there was that freaking game where Jameis Winston just carved the Packers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, the question is, will that happen again with uh, with, uh, with Minnesota? Hard to say. But in any case, let's get started. Thursday night game, Bills Rams. Oh man, they always know how to make the first game of the season fucking big. I know. I mean, last year last year was a was a massive surprise. I don't think anyone expected uh, Dallas to actually keep pace with. Uh, with with the Bucks, and then uh, Tom Brady uh, put his head down, and we realized, oh shit, it's still it's over. <laughs> yeah, like I think like no, last no. year we were all still like uh, under the impression that the Cowboys were still like garbage Man. from like two years ago, because like that was the year Dak went down, and then like we were all just like, ha, 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 they're nothing, they are, they are them boys, but then. It's just like, oh wait, shit! Dak Prescott's actually still good. Who authorized this? Uh, the football gods, for a brief time. You dicks. But yes, but yeah. So, yeah, I believe that the Rams, despite being the defending Super Bowl champions, are coming into this game not just as underdogs, but home underdogs. Yeah. Mm. That's. That's just the power of the Bills, like, uh, what, what, whatever you want to call it, like the Bills hype train. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not uncommon. I think we have like three. I mean, including the Rams, I think we have like three or four. Uh, no, actually, we got a bunch of uh, home underdogs because uh, we have later on we have Arizona, Minnesota, uh, Dallas, definitely the Seahawks, as well as the Jets and Texans. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, as re as registering as underdogs, um, of course, um, we're following DraftKings uh, par um, draft board at at the current moment uh, is as well uh, not sponsored for the record, uh, mm -hmm. but also just keep in mind this is like a little betting tip. Um, anything can go in the first week, so if you do see like there, most of the games are within one score. Um, as we'll soon as we'll get further down, like uh, Indy and. Um, the the Indy game as well as the Ravens Jets game are within a touchdown, a touchdown mm -hmm. an extra point. So uh, take that as you will. Uh, be careful with your first bets. Play conservatively uh, unless you want, uh, unless you know there is like a guarantee. Like okay, this is definitely going to go one way. Um, but uh, but in any case, um, I'm probably the take. I'm actually going to take the underdog. I'm predicting that the Rams will beat the Bills. 
in this end. It's reasonable. Um, I am going to go with the Bills. Like, they are they are going to be a team this season because, like, I, I can't really point to anything on this team and say, yeah, that's something that the Rams can target. Like, like they, they did lose – oh, like, they lost – one key guy in a free agency this year, and that was, I believe, cornerback Levi Wallace to the Steelers, I want to say. And, um, yeah, they, they used their first-round pick to replace him. So all's good in, in the land of the shattered tables. Uh, well, I wouldn't say that. <coughs> <coughs> hmm? Punt God. Oh, well. Yes, but they released him and um, replaced him with a guy who was like a top five punter last year. So all good in Broken Table Land. Okay. For- Buffalo Dudleyville? Ah. Uh, Nearby. It's, mm. it's in the area. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So does that mean that Daniel Garcia is an honorary Dudley? Hmm. No. These are, these are the important questions. <laughs> good question. Uh, Kana, who are you picking? I am picking the Bills. Okie dokie. Because cause I, I, as an Australian, have to use a different betting side. I use sports bet. Ah, okay. okay. And uh, they they have Bills at 1.67 to 2.21. What the fuck kind of betting system did the fuck? But it, it, they use the same betting. They use the same numbers as horse racing. Oh. oh, okay. I am not familiar with horse. Like we, we never had the, horse the race betting. To, the closer to zero, the more likely you are to win. The higher your number, the worse you are. Mm. Mm. Yeah, we never had horse betting back at my uh, at, back when I worked at Barstool. Mm. I, I don't work at Barstool anymore. Like now, now I'm back to dealing uh, blackjack. So good. Hey, deal! If you're good at dealing blackjack, deal blackjack. I am good at dealing blackjack. Awesome. Yeah. All right. I gave a, I actually gave a guy like ten thousand dollars last night. It was awesome. That's not good. That that doesn't mean you're good at bet dealing blackjack. Not if you're the the casino. Hey, like I don't get a commission if they lose. I I I want my guys to win. Hey. Yeah. All right. Anyway, wanting anyway. Uh, speaking of wanting people to win or wanting people to either win or lose, let's move on to the first Sunday game. Uh, for oh, on Sunday. Segue. Yep. <laughs> I love the segues. Um, and for the record, yeah, September 11th is week, uh, is the week of all the games. So especially there's going to be a lot of patriotism this week. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. I was going to land. Yep. So, here, so here's going to be a toss-up question. Eagles-Lions. Oh, I'm not ready for the Lions to be good. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it, it's interesting because, like, again, they're, like, again, everyone loved them on Hard Knocks. They loved the culture. I mean, they didn't really do that well in preseason. Um, but it, it's, uh, I feel like the Dan Campbell is the right guy to bring these guys to uh, bring these guys together. I mean, they might not win a lot, but they will, but they will bring uh, joy to uh, to the fan to the fans every time they do get a win. Yes, absolutely. I want Dan Campbell to either be my team's head coach or my dad. I'm not sure which. <laughs> like, the question is, though, are they beating the Eagles? See, that's the thing, because the Eagles are a sneaky Super Bowl contender. I know. They, 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 they are making it. Here's the thing. I can see the Lions getting the sixth seed. Mm-hmm. I could see the Eagles winning their division. Oh, yeah. I could see the Eagles getting the one seed. Because the NFC is open. Like, Mm. there's... Like, every single team that's at the top of the NFC right now has a glaring weakness that you can go, okay, there's a problem there. Like, the the Packers have no receivers. Tom Brady is about to apply for AARP. Um, Freaking 49ers have a quarterback controversy. Like there's the Bears no. Bears have no O line. Did you just? The Bears aren't winning the one seed. You fucking oh, yeah. maniac. I kn- I know. I'm pointing out that the Bears are all like in that division. 
right. in general. There are a lot of teams that have glaring, obvious weaknesses that you can exploit. Right. Right. And here's what, here's the interesting thing: both the uh, Eagles and uh, Eagles and the Lions are have a very easy strength of schedule. Um, uh, looking at, I think that's according to NFL, the Eagles have the thirtieth, and then the the Lions are twenty eighth. Uh, that's as far as like the tough the toughness of schedule. Right. So it's third easiest and fifth easiest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Like, as much as I think that the Lions are going to become contenders this season, like, I think I put a bet on them making the playoffs at some point. But, um... I... Hmm. I, I just can't... I can't do it just yet. All righty. Like, they, not against they, the Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles. Oh, cool. They are a... The Lions are a season away from being a really good team. They're a good team at the moment but the eagles are better okay that's fair that's fair uh so i think we're all in on the eagles yep all right all right moving on uh your guys's game 49ers taking on dub bears oh uh, man i really hope trey lance isn't ready <laughs> oh, is, it a le- it, is it illegal to hit someone with a crowbar before a game yes that... Well, if uh, if Aaron Donald dual wielding helmets is anything to go by, probably not. Just as long as you do it in a practice, it's fine. Because uh, mm, mm. apparently practices are ungovernable. So There's so much. So I I'm going with the Bears, but I'm doing so on protest. Asked. Because I'm looking at the betting odds for this game, and it's unfair. What is it, like 49ers minus 7 or something? Uh, so, let, let's look at your guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's for, yeah 49ers minus 7. Yeah. yeah it, for, for the Australian betting system, it is San Francisco, 1.30. Bears, 3.30. I mean, five, four, which is like really, really bad. Yeah. The the Bears have, if I remember correctly, the worst odds at winning. This week, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at mine. It's bear. Like the Bears are plus seven. The only ones that are close to that are the Jets, the Texans. Um, oh wait, no, the Texans are worse. And hmm. yeah, those. It, it's tied. For the worst one of the week mm. not even yes. the seahawks are that far yeah that in fact uh if, if i'm going a little bit ahead uh the the 49ers currently are my uh are my pick for the eliminator league in espn mm. Mm. for those that don't know what that means it basically means you pick one uh one team to win and you're not allowed to pick a team more than once right yeah, which means I hope you lose week one. I'm taking <laughs> the Bears. Because <laughs> I am ready to be disappointed. Depression. Uh, you can't buy it. But you can uh, get it by being a Bears fan. I I, I will point out that the McCass it, it's the McCaskins, right? The people who own the Bears. Yes. Yeah. They are thinking of renovating meeting once again our lovely stadium that they've already ruined mm-hmm they're gonna put a dome on soldier field because they're fucking mm. because they want the Don't super it? they want the super bowl they want the super bowl that badly i get it but also I would be okay. come the fuck on i would have been okay if when they originally upgraded it they left the front like the they left it pretty much as is but put it like just dumped a dome completely over the top of it, mm. because then gonna, you have, it, like you walk into the dome and then you see Soldier Field. <laughs> that would have been nice and lovely. But Maybe no. that's a retractable dome. Hmm. Maybe that's fine. All right. So, uh, anyway, sp- boys. Sp- yes, uh, I pick the 49ers. 
Anyway, yes. Any, anyway, speaking of renovations, Steelers taking on the Bengals. Ah, uh, the Bengals renovated. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, upgraded offensive line, uh working on an indoor practice facility that's coming up in a couple of years. The Bengals had one major problem in their offseason, and they fixed the fuck out of it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> they basically said, okay, Joe, how about zero sacks? I can work with that. I would as like that very much, thank you. As he says that with, with chopping a cigar. <laughs> God. Joe Burrow is fucking cool. I'm so glad that we got him for a year whenever, like, at LSU. <laughs> uh, I forgot. Uh, did, I forgot. Didn't what someone... a time to be an LSU fan. Yeah. Uh, I think someone suggested, like, he was going to be um, a, po- a possible candidate for MVP, depending. I forgot who. I, I think. I think. I think Brandon Perna said he was, like, a uh, his pick for MVP. Wow. Hmm. Let me. Uh, I'm gonna look to see if I can find uh, MVP odds. Uh, futures. No, uh, <laughs> it's hard to find future bets on here. Oh, now oh, uh, Kurt Warner uh, uh, on NFL Game Day. He actually uh, said uh, Joe Burrow. <coughs> um, do you want me? His here is my current using my place. Is um, they have Josh Allen. As the most likely to win the regular season MVP, okay. followed mm-hmm. uh, followed closely behind by Pat Mahomes, Tom Brady, and Justin Herbert. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I finally found it, and uh, DraftKings has almost exactly the same order. It's Josh Allen at plus six fifty, Tom Brady at plus eight fifty, Pat Mahomes nine hundred, Justin Herbert nine hundred, Aaron Rodgers one thousand, and then there's our man Joe at twelve. <coughs> You know what Michael Irvin said? Well, oh, I bet this is going to be fun. Kirk <laughs> Cousins. Ha! <laughs> is he still on crack? I don't know, but he, that's what he said on game day. Oh, uh, uh, so... man. They're, they're really... He must really think that just like... Uh, who's their old coach? Zimmer is, was just like cancerizing that team. So, um... Uh... Quick, ex- here's an easy way to explain the betting for, or what the one I'm using. Mm-hmm. If you put a dollar down, that's how much you'll get back. Oh, that's so easy. like, yeah, it's really easy. If you put a dollar down, you would win this much. So if you put five dollars down, you times the number that is next to them by however many dollars or s- and cents you put in. Of course. So. Her, her cousins is at a 41. Mm-hmm. Trey Lance, who is the next person above him, is at 26. So hmm. there's like a massive dump drop between in, in Trey Lance and her cousins. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, who is the lowest person on this list? Uh, Tyreek Hill. Hmm. At 301. Interesting. Uh, okay, okay, now I gotta see who the lowest one on DraftKings is. Alright. While I do that, uh, uh oh, while I do that. Me. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Defense. Oh, de- yeah, we haven't had a defensive guy in like forever. Um, at least since like Lawrence Taylor. Alright. But in any case, um, Bengal- Bengals Steelers. Uh, Trubisky's gonna be starting week one, uh, confirmed uh, by Mike Tomlin. Poor bastards. <laughs> We'll, we'll see how we'll see how he does. Hopefully, I, I do have Pickens on my fantasy team, so hopefully he does get a couple touchdowns. Uh, right. Um, and hopefully Najee Harris does not get destroyed by uh, the that O line. I mean, they did mm-hmm. somewhat improve it. Uh, but kind of. they got the best guy from the uh, Bears offensive line, which oof, it's like getting the ugliest ugliest Kardashian. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, why do you think I picked the 49ers to beat the Bears? <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyway, uh, Ow. sorry. <laughs> but in any way, <laughs> in any case, Kitty goes meow. Uh, yeah, Kitty goes meow. Yeah. <laughs> Kitty goes, all right, Kitty goes meow all the way. Next up, uh, classic rivalry game. And of course, it's starting off in Miami. Patriots, Dolphins. See, this is the trick. Like, this is how they get out of, like, 
ending the season with a huge blown game to the uh like in miami just start the season in miami <laughs> it's brilliant yeah i, th I think it calls for yeah. a Guin calls for a guinness brilliant <laughs> there you go <laughs> i fucking love those commercials uh... back in the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right so, so is two any so good Kana, what do you think I, I don't know. I don't pay attention to the to the Dolphins or the Patriots, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, they they kind of fell off of relevance after Brady left. Because at this point, it's just like, hey, uh, Belichick, um, you're kind of a terrible drafter, and um, like the the teams that you've been given aren't the worst, but you're not doing anything with them. Are you the problem? It, it, it's almost as if what everyone said, that it was Tom Brady, not him, this entire time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. It's almost as if, if you have the goat on your team, it doesn't matter how good your coach is. Yeah, because now you're running with... Uh, who's calling... Actually, has anyone decided on who's calling plays, Matt Patricia or Joe Judge, yet? Does it? matter you're uh, choosing between Aaron or freaking matt patricia and joe judge i don't oh that's like <laughs> that's why i'm asking the worst people i could possibly imagine to put in that position I, I, it, <laughs> it's like do i want to cut off my left hand or my right hand? no it's better like do i do want to cut him off with the <laughs> cut him off with the with Cut, cut off my hands with the uh, with the buzzer, or do I want to cut off my hands with the uh, with it with with that uh, with with the edge of a uh, of a of a tennis ball canister? Ow! Oh, it took me a second to visualize that, but ow! <laughs> yeah, ow! Yeah, those I... yeah those things are fucking dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to play tennis, and those things like you have to be careful around. Them. If you are not paying attention when you're pulling a ball out, it's like, ah, my face. You'd think yeah. somebody would have uh, figured out a way to, like, avoid that. Yeah, but oh, but, but it's so tempting because that new tennis ball smell. Mm. Oh, it, that, 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 was my, that was my high. That was my high in high school. <laughs> uh, how are these things so relatable? <laughs> but yeah, the only way that they could have made the situation any worse is if they would have added Ben McAdoo to the freaking coaching room. Ah. Like, you, it's, you, it's in you know shambles. what? Hmm. I've just realized something. Maybe, maybe the fact that maybe it wasn't the fact that once a coach leaves the learning tree of the hoodie, that they get bad. Maybe it was just he's bad, and he's teaching people to do bad things. <laughs> we trained him wrong on purpose, as a joke. Which is weird because I think the only successful coach to come out of that tree was uh, Brian Flores. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yeah, no, you're. I mean, technically, I mean, if I'm if I'm going like initially with initially with the Jets because he did have two winning seasons. I, it just mm -hmm. that he collapsed. It's just oh seven. Uh, they didn't do anything, and nine and oh eight. They just uh, they just collapsed with with Favre uh, playing hurt. Right. Now, um, you were also... that, uh, Josh McDaniels changes that with the Raiders. Yeah, yeah. Fingers crossed. He's got he's got the team. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. But anyway, uh, Dolphins at home, or do the Patriots get the uh, get the upset? Ah, uh, no, Dolphins. Like I, I am not trusting this uh, Patriots team, and like I'm, I'm trusting the uh, Dolphins ever so slightly more because like. Like, he definitely... Tua's got the receiving for now. Like, mm -hmm. Tyreek Hill, uh, Jalen Waddell, and Mike Isecki. That's a fucking receiving for right there. Also Cedric Wilson. And Cedric Wilson, yes. Like, now, that being said, DraftKings did give me a, um, a, a odds boost on this one bet. Uh, let me see if I can find it. It was something like uh, betting the 
uh, over on Tua's passing yards and passing touchdowns. I think it was like over 4,000 yards and 27 touchdowns. Uh-huh. And even then, I was still like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. So, so, if this was at the end of the season, I would be saying Dolphin. But because it's at the start, I'm going the opposite way. Okay. Um, reverse psychology kind of thing. Okay. Well, they well last year they also did the same thing. The first game was against the was was against the Dolphins at Foxborough, and the Dolphins won. Hmm. So, and then they proceeded to lose like seven in a row. Yep. Yeah. So I'm picking. So. Yep, I'm picking the Dolphins. Uh, I think they get they have the better they have the better offense. Yep. All right. Next, uh, one of many many revenge games this week. Oh, starting this is gonna be fun. Somehow, the, somehow this happened. This has happened again with the same team, Browns Panthers. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for like. Like, the only reason I'm going to be excitedly waiting for Deshaun Watson to come back is the fact that every, like, away team that they visit is going to have their own fun spin on how to boo the shit out of him. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, we saw with the uh, first, um, what was it, preseason game, when uh, Jaguars fans were like, you sick fuck! (laughs) You sick fuck! (laughs) Did they get the? Apparently, they brought the AEW crowd over. I love it. <laughs> uh, should we talk at some point about what the fuck happened in AEW over All Out Weekend? I know we're a little late to the punch on that, but Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, apparently they're not. Uh, yeah, apparently, Omega Punk and the Young Bucks are not going to be on Dynamite this uh, today tonight. Uh oh, there was a bunch of suspensions thrown down. Uh, Omega, the Bucks, Papa Buck, Chris, Christopher Daniels, Michael Nakazawa, Brandon Cutler, Punk, and A. Steel are all either are all among those to be suspended or no longer with the company by the end of Wednesday. I'm sure some of them aren't. Like some of those aren't going to be on that list, but yeah, fucking A. Steel's bye bye. <laughs> um. But in any case, this is Baker's revenge game against the Browns. All the, like I, I think <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I just can't wait to see what type of graphic is going to show up in on the Titantron for the Panthers. Because you remember game again, remember game one against the Jets. Uh, the Panthers uh, mascot jumped out, jumped out, and and like metaphorically ripped off the Jets' uh, flag. So. What the hell's gonna what the hell's gonna happen to the Browns? Oh boy. And will they keep it PG? <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> oh god. Okay. It's, like this is a revenge game. I'm picking like uh I'm picking the Panthers. Panthers over the Browns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me too. I'm going with the Browns to give the Browns a bit of hope before the Factory of Sadness kicks in. Oh, Factory of Sadness already kicked in when they when they signed Deshaun Watson. Factory of Sadness that kicked works. in whenever they rebrand or they came back in 1999, and it's been consistently just chugging along, almost uninterrupted. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right there. <clears throat> All right, moving on. Uh, next up, Colts Texans. Well, this should be nice and easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, not not really. Again, Texans still re- rebuild. Colts new quarterback. They're on the. They're they're now the new Broncos on the carousel. Yeah, well, the the, the Colts have basically been on the carousel, uh, basically since Andrew Luck retired. Yeah, like it's. Like, and to be perfectly honest, Matt Ryan, even at this stage in his career, is probably the best, like, it's probably the best quarterback that they've had since Luck. Yeah. Yeah, even if he, yeah, even even if he's pushing 40, he's still, he's still solid. 
yeah, he dragged like that Falcons team kicking and screaming to a couple of wins last year. So yeah, like <clears throat> you give him an actual team with guys like you know Michael Pittman Jr. and Jonathan Taylor. Like that's a like those are NFL players, not USFL players. Yeah, of course. Yeah, not to, yeah. So uh, I think most of us. Yeah, I think all of us pretty much taking the Colts on this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, by the way, speaking of the Falcons, let's talk about the Saints Falcons. <laughs> um, so, when do you think the Falcons gonna blow it up? Uh when? Yeah, I, I feel like it happened this off season. Ah, <laughs> uh, they can always remove a few more things. Mm. <laughs> yeah, just. Like when you when you think you've hit rock bottom, someone will always be there to offer a handy shuffle. <laughs> like, yeah, because what? Because what is it? Like they're running with Mariota. Did, Ritter got hurt in in, in preseason. They oh. don't have any off. They barely. The only offensive weapons they have are Patterson and Pitts. Like maybe it, Drake London. Yeah. Well, again, he's yeah. He was the first and again the first wide receiver taken out of the, out of the draft. So, that was like that's a team to watch with bated breath. Like, oh, like, are they going? Are they going to survive? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I took them confidently for fewest wins this season because, like, like the Seahawks, I think were the favorites on that, but at least they still have like DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, yeah, and Rashad Penny. It's just that they're rolling with, and you know what? Like last year, fucking last year, Gino was not terrible. Yeah, and he's starting again this season. Yeah, he was. He wasn't great, but he he fit. He, he fit. Can, he can fuck up a tank. Hmm. Like he can get him five wins. Yeah, I mean, I predicted them four, but they'll they'll still be. I predict that they're going to be like top five at least. Oh yeah. Like I, I agree with that, but I'm saying like he he can he can guide them to a couple of wins that uh, management would not want. Actually, I can look up to see. Yeah, I, I actually uh, wrote down all of our records. Okay. Like, what, whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I had them at two and fifteen. Yeah, yeah. I... <laughs> Kana had three and fourteen, and you had four and thirteen. Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, but. In any case, uh, it's like this. This and I think the Bears. Like and again, this is probably just me, but this and I think the Bears game are the are. Well, well, I mean, DraftKings has it at uh, Saints minus five and a half. Um, I, I think it's ba- again based on J- Jameis's production. But in any case, I'm taking the Saints in this one. Yeah, you could probably bump that Saints number up to nine and a half, and I'd still take them. Hmm. Mm. That it mm, in agreeance? Yes, that, um, yes, I agree. <laughs> yes, that's that. I, I agree with that said statement. Alrighty then. All right, moving on. Okay, this this one. I I'm gonna this one I'm gonna be paying it very close attention to Ravens Jets. All right. So what's the status on Golden Boy? Uh, haven't heard anything yet. He's still it's still up in the air. Uh, as far as who's starting, um, if I can just check Twitter, see what uh, Salas said. Anything? Has he has he hooked up with Lamar Jackson's mom yet? Uh, don't <laughs> can't rule that out. Don't believe so. So let's see. Well, anything on the latest on Wilson's status? Uh, nothing as of yet. Um, again, at the time of the video, time of this video, game t- is game decision. Uh, to more than likely today. All right. Well, either way, you're rolling with either elite Joe Flacco or uh, Zach Wilson, who might be a little gimpy. Mm, right. So now, if so I, which player, which player are you guys talking about? So it's clear. Zach Wilson. Okay. Now, if now if now you're now this will probably change uh, once I make the once I make this. Uh, prediction 
if Zach Wilson starts, I'll probably switch my switch my uh, decision to um, the Ravens winning. But if Flacco is going to be starting, I think the Jets might actually squeeze out an upset. Are you predicting Joe Flacco revenge game? I'm predicting Joe Flacco revenge game, and CJ Mosley and and CJ Mosley revenge game. Ah, yes. Well, that one's going to happen. Or, or well, like. Yeah, he's starting out of the way. But yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the, I think this I think this might be a this might be a game of defenses. Mhm. Uh Baltimore's health Baltimore's defense uh 100% healthy. Uh the Jets defense is loaded. Uh especially the front seven is going to be scary. I think the the Jets secondary is um is is going to be an underrated look at um uh, because I think uh I think Gardner and uh, Reed, again, also DJ Reed is uh, is going to be a game time decision as well. So we'll see what happens there. But I, I think this is going to come down to who's going like who's going to have the better defense. And I'm I'm predicting that the Jets defense is going to be a little bit better. They're gonna, I think they're going to be a little bit fresher. They are young, but I'm predicting with a revitalized with a revitalized front seven and an up-and-coming secondary, they're going to turn heads. Hmm. So, Interesting. yep, so, again, usually when I have these, usually when I have these predictions, uh, again, I did this last year with uh, with the Titans game, I, uh, when the Jets beat the Titans, of, of what they can do, somehow they, they do what I say. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm picking the Jets to beat the Ravens. Hmm. And why aren't the Jets better if you can if you can command them like that? I <laughs> I don't I don't know. Command them to win more games. <laughs> I I I agree with the whole. I I, I agree with the sentiment, mm -hmm. but I believe that um I, I believe your your young golden boy will actually show up. Oh okay. Wow. All no. right. You you know what? I'll I'll be the odd man out. I'll take the Ravens. Hey, that and that's that's totally fair. That's totally fair. Yeah, like like that that's secondary in the for the Ravens. They're getting back Marlon Humphrey. They're getting right. back uh uh oh, who's the other guy? They they've got like two freaking like Pro Bowl caliber corners, and the other guy's name is escaping me. Well, they well they well they just got um oh um Kyle Hamilton. Oh I, oh yeah, I, they drafted Kyle Hamilton. Yes, but there's a there's another corner. Hamilton's safety. I'm gonna quickly drop a meme that I was that I found on Twitter real quick that I that made me chuckle. Okay. Uh, what right. it? Oh, Kyle Fuller. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, and, and Marcus Peters. That's you what you're thinking of. In the video. Yeah, Kyle Fuller and Marcus Peters. Oh, Marcus Peters was the guy that I was thinking of, but yeah, also Kyle Fuller. <laughs> yeah, th this is. This is going to be a game of defenses. Yeah, like it's it's going to come down to defenses and running game. It's going to be Do Do Dobbins and the bus versus Hall and Carter. Mm -hmm. Right. Great. Hall and Carter sounds like it's a movie that stars Denzel Washington. <laughs> well, well, Carter Hall is the name of a DC is the alias of a DC superhero. Uh huh. It, it's the alias of Hawkman. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I, this is a weird one because I think we're all taking the uh, we're all taking the underdog in this one. Jaguars Commanders. Yeah, I don't think any of us really want to take the Commanders because that would imply that we have any kind of faith in Carson Wentz. <laughs> like the Jags are going to be good this year, maybe, sort of, somewhat, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Hey, we're not gonna get the first round pick again. Like the first pick overall again. Yeah, we're gonna be like fourth. <laughs> uh, I, I I legitimately think that they're at least gonna like I one of the bets that I, I put in that short was uh, that the, both the Lions and the Jags would get at least seven wins, and I like and I legitimately think that they can do that. Mm. Like seven and like seven wins means seven and ten. That's not unreasonable. No, like with like. Okay, so they got a new number one receiver. They overpaid for him, but they got him. Like, they kind of had to. Uh, 
They've got uh, a new top pass rusher in Traven Walker. Like, O-line's been a bit revamped. Like, and best of all, Urban's gone. That is true. Uh, They're and, literally going from Urban Meyer, who might be a fucking crazy person, to a guy who won a Super Bowl less than five years ago. And brought the ice cream truck, too. Hmm? And brought the ice cream truck, too. Right, right. Like, <laughs> like he, he turned Car- – this is a man who turned Carson Wentz into a, into a super – under yeah. Carson went into an MVP contender. This man's a miracle worker. Right. This guy this guy worked with Nick Foles to come up with the, with the Philly special. <laughs> which by the way which which most people would say that uh, was an elite was a was a legal formation. <laughs> well, cry more. <laughs> uh but anyway, like are we all going on the Jags? Yeah. Jungle Kitty go now. <laughs> all right. Break up the well Consider me a clown on this one. We're going the Jags. <laughs> all right, next up, uh, we're getting to... All right, now time for the 4 o'clock games, starting off with Packers-Vikings. Uh, you you could not pay me enough to take the Vikings. Like, this is... Like, okay, so everybody is, like, convinced that it was Mike Zimmer that was the problem, and I, I will admit that he was certainly not great, especially towards the end there, but, like, that defense is still shit, y'all. Mm. Like, it's really bad. It's still the same defense that, like, Kirk Cousins had to try to bail out every single week. Right. And by my recollection, I don't think they got much better over the offseason. Uh, i trying to remember who they... I'm trying, I'm trying to remember who Wait, they, they got. They got one of the Smiths from the Packers. Uh, Zadari Smith. Yeah, okay, they got him. So that's a little better. But pass rush wasn't really their problem. It was in the secondary. Oh yeah, and Patrick Peter- Patrick Peterson so far has not been show has not really been showing up uh, as as far as like as like a, like a like a pass protection help. Yeah, studies show it is not ten years ago. That is true. Yes, very much so. Yeah. All right. Uh, in any case, um, I think we're all in on the Packers, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like even if he doesn't have anybody to really throw to, like Aaron Rodgers will figure it out. He always does. All right, he'll get pissy about it later, but he'll figure it out. Okay. All right, moving on. Raiders charges. This game's gonna slap. Oh my god, this yes, is, it is this is gonna be an offensive. This is gonna be a really good offensive game because you have de- like te- like teammates coming, uh, uh, college teammates coming back. Uh, to throw to each other, you have a you have uh, Justin Herbert who won Rookie of the Year two years ago, uh, and honestly one of the honestly one of the best offenses in the league. Uh, I I, I want I, I want to really watch this game. Yeah, well, the thing is, this isn't just offense though. Like this is like the defense is on both sides. Like the the Chargers got J C Jackson the and freaking Khalil Mack. The Raiders got Chandler Jones and are bringing back Max, Max Crosby. Like this is two complete teams. Exactly. This is why the AFC West is going to be a bloodbath this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what are they going for this one? I think it's like one and a half. Oh no, three and a half. Uh, in favor of the Chargers. Hmm. The vision of death. Yeah. What's yeah. the opposite of tank division? Uh, first seed division. Well, like what? No, it, it, no, it's it's tank division, but it's on all capitals. Because <laughs> <laughs> the AFC West is a tank. Mm-hmm. Beef tank. Oh, uh, yeah, god, it's gonna be rough. Yeah, I'm i I'm gonna go with the home team. I'm gonna pick the Chargers. Alright. Reasonable. Reasonable. Uh I'll take the Raiders. Like they're like there's really no wrong answer on this game. Like you can go either way and it is a, right. It is a coin flip, so I did one. Who'd you pick? I I picked the Raiders. Alright. Raiders. 
right. All right, moving on. Uh, next 4 o'clock game, Giants-Titans. Why is this a 4 o'clock game? Uh, because because it can be. Like, this this game screams, like, if if it's not taking place in London, it's taking place at 1 o'clock on CBS. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I think because, yeah, I think they're the close, like, oh, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because, like, the the Bears and 49ers are going earlier. I guess, but, like, neither of them are, like, neither of them are even, like, close to West Coast teams. Like, they're, they're both, I don't know, it's dumb. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Giants, the Giants have a professional cornhole player at quarterback, so... Yeah, this is a it's still a rebuild year. I'm not sure if Brian Dable can save uh, Daniel Jones. They're going to go for quarterback next year. I mean, next year's a good year to go for a quarterback. Right, and unfortunately, I, yeah, and I, unfortunately I don't. Than, sorry, good. Better than last year, at least. Yeah. Much. Much. Yeah, and unfortunately, C.J. Stroud's more, more than likely going to be taken first by uh, either – uh, the Falcons or the Seahawks. Seahawks. Yeah. Yeah. All right. In any case, uh, this is a t- this is a Titans game to lose. Mm-hmm. Agree. Mm-hmm. Right. I very much agree. All right. Moving on. Uh, Chiefs taking on the Cardinals. Man, is there any team that's like set to self destruct harder than the freaking? Uh, and the Cardinals. Mm. Like, freaking D Hop's gonna be gone for six games. Yeah, Kyler's still like, Kyler had a really messy contract thing. Like, yeah, it's not, there's the, like there's not much hope for the Cardinals this season because it's really gonna be between uh, either the Rams and the 49ers this year. It's a matter of who's gonna uh, c- come out on. Who's going to have like the best most division wins? Yeah, the Cardinals feel like they're in a weird middle ground where, like, like they're 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 basically just like existing at this point. Yeah, they, they, uh... they're not good enough to really tank, but like, there's no way they're competing with like the top dogs in the West. Mm. They they are literally a season away from having to like start the rebuild. Which is not what you want to do when you just gave your like they 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 re-signed Kyler right? Yes, they did for a fuck, for a fuck yes. ton of money. Yep, and yeah. they and they and they restructured his contract so he doesn't have to do the bulls the the bullshit uh, four hours of a uh, a film study a week. Well, like, well, first off, four hours is a pitiful amount. But second off, like the damage is really already done for that because it's just like we are we now all already know that Kyler is just like somebody who doesn't like that needs to be told to do that because he can't stop playing fucking madden like uh, his this is from my point of view if i was if, if i was that good at doing a sport and i was getting paid to play it at minimum i'd be doing for him and that's the crazy I, thing because like okay so kyler is already like a pro bowl quarterback i think we can kind of agree on that if not, he's, like, close. He, he is in that round. Sure. Right. right. So what if he actually starts trying? <laughs> uh. Like, could the Cardinals be sitting on, like, a, a they future... Are probably, hmm? They are probably sitting on a future Hall of Famer if he got his head out of his own eye. Right. Right. Let me check Kyler MVP odds real fast. It's really low. Ooh, fun. Because, again, because also, keep in mind, the Cardinals also have... They, they have the second hardest schedule this year. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah, so Rams, Cardinals, Bengals. Based yeah, that's off the, pretty ba- hard. Yeah, based off of uh, 2021's uh, uh, rec- records. So again, because they again they're already starting off with like a again a really tough schedule because not only do they have Chiefs 
Chiefs this week. Next week's the Raiders, then the then the Rams, uh, and they might have an easy game against the uh, Panthers. Then the Eagles, then the Seahawks. Like there, it's not a it's not a fun ride. It's really not a fun ride. Mm-hmm. And the uh, MVP odds aren't as low as you would think. It's only plus two thousand. Oh. Yeah. I would I would have thought him like if it would have been in like the forty like the forty five hundred or five thousand range, I might have taken a shot at it. But mm-hmm. no. but he, he is really one of those players that he is either going to be viewed as an old like a Hall of Famer mm-hmm. or he's going to be viewed as the most wasted of potential players. Absolutely. I see. Yeah. Yeah. He, like, he's either one or the other. And it all depends mm-hmm. on if he gets his head out of his ass and, like, actually does what he could do. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. And so uh, we're all taking the Chiefs? Yep. Wrong yep. Chiefs. All right. Moving on. Sunday night game. Uh, first, which is ironically the first game from last year. Bucks taking on the Cowboys. The sequel. The sequel. This time it's actually in Dallas. Hmm. Yes. All right. Well. <sighs> so, uh. No matter who wins, we lose. Yeah. Yeah. Unless they tie. Then we that all win. That was funny. <laughs> Has there ever been a tie on Sunday night? Uh, was that no? That was a Monday night game. I was thinking that uh, that terrible, terrible like Dolphin Steelers game from like twenty oh eight, maybe, but not that. That that had a winner, barely. I'm cu- I'm checking. I'm checking. List of tied games. Uh, let's see. Control F. Sunday. Oh yes, there has. Wow. Yeah, only only once. 19, Love it. 1997, Giants mm-hmm. Giants Washington, final score 7-7. Oh, that sounds awful. That is Oh, uh, that sounds I, I wanna... Oh, and oh, and it's even worse. It was it was the game that Gus Farrat injured himself by when he headbutted a stadium wall. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Gus Farad. I want to watch that now. That is a name that I haven't heard since the last time I played Madden 07. Which was a depressingly recent time. Yeah, I was gonna. I was about to say, isn't, wasn't that, like, not too long ago? <laughs> yeah, I, I still have Madden 07. It, it, it's, like, one of the better ones. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, but uh, around that time, we do get, like, a lot of good games. But it, there was a time where Madden was literally, like, a game of the year contender. Yeah, I think between, like, 2000 and, I want to say, 2009? I want to say, but before people got sick of, uh, before EA became a meme? Mm-hmm. We, we yeah. also got a bunch of good um, wrestling games around that time, too. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, in, in any case, uh, Buccaneers have no O-line, Cowboys have no offense. <laughs> right. Their offense is basically just Mike McCarthy giving the ball to uh, Dak Prescott and being just like, Nah. Yeah, you figure it out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, I've given you the ball, that's all I needed to do, see ya! <laughs> I'm going on my break. Uh, if that's the case, then yeah, I'm picking, I'm picking the Bucks. Yeah, me too. I'm gonna be a contrary. How dare you, you do that? I'm picking the Cowboys because I would love to see this be the the collapse of Tom Brady. As much as I would love to see that, like he is in, he is eternal. Yeah, yeah, I know he is the goat. He's the he's yeah. he's the Nick Cage of uh, slash Keanu Reeves of football. <laughs> I think it's better with him. Fear it, run from it. He is inevitable. Though, if he doesn't have an O line, and that may be an issue. 
That mm. is going to be well. He barely had no line in New England. Yeah, that's okay. true. Like, at least he's got receivers. Yeah. Oh, and Chris, well, well, and Chris Godwin's coming back. Thank God. I need I need him on my fantasy team. Nice. Oh, by the way, I, I saw this on freaking uh, YouTube communities or whatever. Did you hear that Kirk Benkirk is like? Uh, might be signing to the Bears practice squad. I heard, and it's tearing up Tom inside. Oh, uh, Tom's on fucking suicide watch. Oh. You, you, you know, it would be funny to see the Tom just like on the practice squad for like a week. Mm. Me immediately gets like a a, a career ending knee injury. Ooh. Uh-huh. All right. In, in, in any case, by the way, they actually are. Uh, uh, GPS is actually streaming right now as we as we're as we're recording this. So I can't really see anything. Uh, 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 but since we are talking about uh, Perna, final game, the final revenge game of this week: Broncos Seahawks. Oh goodness! Oh goody gumdrops! Like what? How big do you think the line would be before you'd have to take the Seahawks? Twenty. Oh, the line for this week? Oh, geez, cause I might do a thing where I where I take the Broncos minus a stupid amount of points. Let's see what I can find. All right. Well, right now the the spread is right now at six and minus six and a half. Mm-hmm. By a which is by a score. I think I would take I would take the over in this case. That uh, sorry no I would take the uh, actually no. What was I gonna say? I'd say that the Bron- the Broncos would score more than six and a half. <laughs> yeah, mm. you can get Broncos minus twenty at plus five hundred. Yeah, <laughs> that's reasonable. Mm. It is. Hmm. I I just. Like the Broncos are going to torch the Seahawks, right? Like, what part of the Seahawks team gives you any sort of confidence? Like, like they have decent, they they still have good receivers, but they have fucking. See, the thing is, though, I said Geno Smith might luck them into a couple of wins this season, but not this one. Mm-mm. No, especially not this one. especially with that Broncos secondary. Especially with that Broncos secondary and that Broncos pass rush and that lack of a Seahawks O line. Oh yeah, didn't didn't uh who got hurt uh that they just they they picked up uh, in the uh didn't uh did Charles Cross get hurt? I don't remember. I don't remember who was the. I remember someone got someone got hurt. I wasn't sure if he was on the Seahawks or not. Um. No, it was J. It was the the O tackle from the Cowboys, Tyron Smith. Yes, that was who it was. I, I was thinking of um, yeah, I was, I was thinking of Charles Cross for some reason. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, Tyron Smith, and uh, I don't know if he's out for the season, but they replaced him with Jason Peters. Okay, yeah, I remember and that. Philly thing. fans are not happy. <laughs> yeah, I do not blame them. So. <laughs> Not being happy. Yeah. 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 It's it's a shame because like they got the like the the Seahawks do have the, the do have some offensive weapons. Lockett, Metcalf, Fant could be an uh, Noah Fant could be an um, underrated um, uh, pass catcher. Rashad Penny. Yeah, Rashad Penny. Um, did what? Did Walker get hurt? Kenneth Walker. Uh, I haven't heard anything about it, but I also have been keeping an eye on it. I'll look. Um, oh, he, he, yeah, there was an injury, but he said he could play week one. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is, a uh, not good. Uh, I think we're all on Broncos for this one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Ugh. Okay, so that's our that's our picture of the week. Um, I don't think we are doing any streaming of any games uh, as of yet. I mean, I if I if I fix my cable situation, I might be able to 
uh, get one of the game one of the games. I might be able to stream uh, the Bronco Seahawks game uh, on Monday. I mean, I mean yeah. Um, and uh, I have to double check Paramount Plus because I know they they um I have to see what their stuff is regarding football. So if I can get them, I might be able to stream the the Ravens uh, Jets game. Uh, one second. NFL. Uh, what is the? It, it's game, right? That's the NFL. NFL. Oh, uh, you're talking about the Game Pass? Yeah, the subscription thing. Ooh, I think uh, I still have. Oh, uh, I do not know. Yeah, it's Game Pass. Okay. I I, I am signing in right now. Apparently, oh. I'm not. One second, I might have changed my password at some point. Uh, let me see. Well, I mean, I, I do get... Yeah, it says I can get, like, uh, NFL on CBS Live. I'm just curious if I get all of NFL CBS Live. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, in any case, that'll be, that'll be thing for uh, discussing another time. Uh, until then, we will see you guys next week uh, for week two. And I will see you guys when I do a betting thing at some point in the next couple of days.